Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with the collective message you need to hear right now. So let's hop right into it and find out what your angels really want to tell you today. What is going on? Okay, we got the devil card, the moon, king of cups. It's really funny because I definitely hear the topic in my mind sometimes before I start the reading. And I was definitely hearing today that someone's obsessed with you and they won't stop talking about you to other people. So it's got people talking about how obsessed or in love someone is with you. You could be dealing with a water sign or a Capricorn with a devil card. Yeah, with the moon card there. This person could be somebody that won't stop talking to other people about you, but maybe they don't talk to you because there's definitely some talk going around about... The fact that someone's in love with you, still in love with you, obsessed with you, and they probably know this because of this person's behavior, right? So maybe they are talking about you or they're giving away some other type of behavior that's giving away the fact that they are so into you. Let's see what's going on here. It doesn't have to be like a creepy message, but I'm definitely getting a little bit of obsession because the devil came out just from the jump. We have the strength card here too as well. Yeah, so I do feel that someone has a high level of attraction towards you and a high level of just really wanting to be around you. You guys can also be feeling this person's energy a lot in your energy field. You could be dreaming about this person as well. Got the Eight of Swords. You could have blocked this person. They could be from your past. Five of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel this person feels that you blocked them out or you have energetically blocked them off. And maybe that's why they are talking about you to other people. But why are people talking about this? We got the Queen of Pentacles and then we got the Page of Pentacles. I feel as though there's definitely some people around this person that has picked up the fact that they haven't really been the same since you blocked them or since they met you. This person has blocked off other people. I definitely feel like it's going to be someone in your life right now or somebody that is in your past, either or. But there's definitely some buzz about the fact that this person is very different since they've met you or since you've cut them off or since your relationship ended. And I feel like this energy is coming through because you and this person definitely do have a very strong spiritual connection. And since this person has entered your life or you entered their life and things have happened between you, this person is definitely not the same as they used to be. And that's why people are talking about this because they kind of feel as though you kind of like broke this person's heart or something like that. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody definitely did not get what they wanted out of the situation with you. And they definitely are very upset about this. I feel like this person could have sabotaged this or they could have not even tried hard enough, but people don't really know that. I definitely sense this person spent a lot of time talking about you or yeah, talking about you or even like just like asking for advice about you more than they actually came to you about the situations or problems they could have had with this connection. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, we have the page of wands here. So I definitely feel like whoever this is, it's not over between you guys. This person could be in your life as well. Like this could be someone who's interested in you in the current energy but with the eight of swords there why is this person upset six of pentacles hmm seven of swords in reverse okay the empress so this person is talking about the fact that they feel like you don't trust them anymore or they feel like they put a lot of work into this connection and it didn't work out the way that they really wanted it to We've got the empress card there too as well like maybe this person is talking about this to family members or maybe they're talking about it to their friend group but there's definitely a lot of buzz around the fact that this person hasn't really been the same since they've met you or since they put a lot of effort into this connection and i also feel the seven of swords in reverse like I do feel for some of you, this person did do something wrong towards you guys. And that's why they are talking about it to other people. And if they haven't done anything wrong, they feel like you treat them like they've done something wrong. Because I see this having a story in reverse. It's almost like this person feels like you caught them in something or you act like you can't trust this person to a sword. The chariot. Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person still wants to come back and they still want to make moves towards you. Really interesting enough, some of you guys, this could be an ex and they're obsessed with you because they messed up this connection and they regret not putting more effort in. And that's something that could resonate with some of you. But some of you, this is really strange, but this is somebody in your life right now that wishes that you trusted them more because they want to open up to you, but they feel like you're going to reject them. Like someone feels as though you may have trust issues, but I feel like for some of you, it's going to be like, oh yeah, well they gave it to me. Like this could definitely be the person that gave you the trust issues. So I kind of don't understand why they are annoyed that you don't trust them anymore. But for some of you, it's like they talk about wanting to come back into your life, but you don't trust them anymore. And I do feel that people talk about this because they talk about how this person is just like super upset about the fact that you're not in their life anymore. And if this person did mess up the connection, 
maybe they don't even talk about it that much, but it's pretty obvious that this person left your life and they went downhill fast. And I feel like that's kind of like the vibe here. But for some of you, it's like a newer person and things maybe aren't going the way this person wanted it to go, or it's a fling that is kind of rocky and you don't trust this person. I definitely feel like there's some people here that feel like you're the cause of this person being upset or down or out. There's definitely somebody here really upset about the way the connection went with you or currently is going with you. And I definitely feel this person could definitely be hiding this from you guys. And that's what I'm kind of picking up on because some people are not really getting this situation because what I'm picking up on is this person does a lot of talking maybe behind your back because they're not being open about what they're really feeling or they do a lot of sulking, but not a lot of action. And I feel with the Knight of Cups, there are two of swords. A lot of the issues are stemming from the fact that this person is not confessing to you how they're feeling. So maybe you guys have done something to this person that hurt them. But for example, like maybe this person feels like you're not being true or honest with them. Like maybe you're going on Facebook with other people and that really hurt them and it, and it made them really upset and they withdrew and talked about other people, but they never told you that. So it's almost like a miscommunication going on here where this person's upset and they spend a lot of time sharing this with other people or just sulking about it. And it was just pretty obvious the people around them that this person kind of needs to just man up and woman up and communicate with you or just kind of like get over it basically. But people are definitely talking about this because of the fact that the person in their life, whoever this is, it's just not the same anymore. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like they're not the same anymore. Like something is very different about them. Since yeah, maybe this person had abandonment issues and you left their life and it could have really triggered them into some healing. I feel like this is definitely a spiritual connection because when you and this person got together or even when you ended, you definitely brought a lot of wisdom into this person's life. And I feel like maybe things kind of happened quick for you guys or you guys had this type of connection where you didn't overshare or you shared things with each other you didn't really share with other people because I feel like a lot of these people are kind of missing a piece of the puzzle here that they don't understand why this person is so stuck on you like someone's definitely stuck on you or in love with you and there's some people that really don't get it you know I'm hearing that one song Drew Barrymore you guys can look it up um because all these other girls keep wondering why I view for or whatever. I feel like this, this person could have like a lot of people that are into them. And this person only really had eyes for you. Yeah, and I feel like there could be other parties here that realize this person isn't over you. If it's either from your past. And they really don't get it. Because this person doesn't really share what had went on in the connection between you and them. Because in a way, this person is very still protective over you guys. Or protective over this connection. Which is very strange if this person did you wrong. But in the, the day, I feel like this person doesn't spend a lot of time like talking badly about you it's almost just like accidentally they could be in like oh you know me and so-and-so went here like and people have picked up on that like I do feel like maybe when they were in the connection or when they initially had issues they could have talked to people about it but I feel like especially if this relationship is over they tend to bring you up a lot to people randomly maybe even someone that they could be dating for some of you you know and it's just becoming very obvious to maybe third parties as well that this person is not over you and I feel like that's why this is a topic of discussion it could even turn into arguments if you guys resonated a couple of weeks ago. I did, people are can't stop arguing about you. I feel like this is like similar. Like this could be an energy. I see this queen of pentacles here. Like someone could be arguing with this person about this. Like, are you sure you're over them? Because you won't stop talking about them. Like someone definitely is giving away the fact that they're not over you. And it's got people talking because people are talking about that this person is not, if they're in another relationship or they moved on, that they're not really over you and they could tell. Because like maybe this person is not the same way. Yeah. For some of you, this could be a newer person in your life too as well that like they've never seen this person fall in love because that's either an ex that's not over you or someone who has like fallen in love for the first time and doesn't know what to do with it. They're acting really funky and they're in a rut because they have these feelings and maybe it triggered some abandonment issues from their past. And I do feel for some of you, this is someone you could be talking to right now and they're going through this and they don't want to reveal this to you because they know that there's like no reason they should be acting like this. But yeah, I definitely feel that someone is really in love with you guys and people are picking up on this and they cannot hide anymore. I really feel for a lot of you, this person feels rejected by you guys. So I do sense that if this was a fling or some of you guys are talking to, it's not going well. And if this is an ex, like things have ended between you guys and they really feel as though maybe it's just done for like, but at the same time, like they just can't stop bringing you up or accidentally talking about you to people or like I said, just ever since that relationship ended, they just haven't been the same. Like the light is like out of their eyes. And I kind of feel like this message could also be in the reverse because somebody could be just like acting way different ever since they met you. But I definitely feel like this is more like things that have ended or went sour between you guys because I'm picking up on the fact that this person's still obsessed with you even though they're hurt, even though they feel sad, even though they feel abandoned. Yeah. 
yeah, this is, there could be somebody that I feel could have pulled themselves out of dating you because they feel like the emperor, like you want to build with someone different than them. I definitely feel like some of you guys rejected, like you could have told them like, you don't have what I'm looking for or something like that. Cause I just sense this person's really hurt and people are kind of like talking about the fact that it has something to do with you. But I get a lot of like nine of pentacles in reverse, nine of cups to his swords. Like they're not sure if they should try to come back. They're not sure if they still have a chance with you. I feel like this could be an energy too, where people talk this person out of the relationship with you, because I do feel for my people watching, like I always say, you guys are my people. If you're new here, welcome. You have my light for her healer energy and you get a lot of attention. I'm seeing a few people, you know, having interest in you guys. And this person probably realized that the competition was pretty brutal for them and they could have just took them themselves out of the game. Like this person could have eliminated themselves or just abruptly cut you off or even sabotaged or involve third party, so on and so forth. But the thing is that it was a lot of self-sabotaging energy here because deep down, this person never felt good enough for you. So a lot of people are talking about the fact that this person messed up their connection with you and they haven't been the same since. And this could be someone from a while ago. And some of you guys, this is an ex who's with someone new and people are like, yeah, this person, they're not really in love with that person. Like, I know that's messed up to say, but again, that's what the readings are for, guys. You could be seeing signs, having dreams about these people, being like, what the heck? We are in a Mercury retrograde. Again, my readings are timeless, but I'm definitely sensing that you could be hearing from somebody from your past. We got the tower here. Yeah, people are talking about the fact that this person, like, sad. I don't know. Like, this person just seems very sad. And, um, yeah maybe like people who care about this person it's like what has gotten to so and so and they kind of blame you because it's like this something happened while this person was in your life where they started to change and i do feel like for a lot of you like again you guys are my leggers and my healers and you kind of bring a higher vibration into somebody's life so they could have just kind of like became very aware about people around them circumstances around them you could have triggered them into healing it has nothing to do with the people around them but maybe there was some toxic people around them they withdrew from I kind of feel as though it was kind of like this ending triggered this person into like kind of a hermit mode where they went into more healing or they went into more of a reclusive mode. And a lot of people are just talking about the fact that they think that this person is heartbroken over you or this person, uh, they realize how much you've meant to this person because it's like ever since this person and you are not on good terms, they just haven't really been like their regular happy-go-lucky self is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else is going on. By the way, you guys can pick up these decks in my shops. Links below. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really getting also that it's like this person, even if they are in a commitment, like it doesn't really seem like it. You know, they're just more like, yeah, it's really strange. This energy is very strange. This person could have a lot of issues, right? But look, they're stuck on a past, the past. Union. Hmm. Yeah, you, this person can have a very strong past life connection. I'm just telling you guys, whoever this person is, they don't usually act like this. So you may not have really noticed that you were dealing with somebody that doesn't typically fall in love, doesn't typically date, doesn't typically catch feelings. And yeah, this person definitely has the, uh, a little bit of reputation for being cold or hard to get. So when this person had eyes on you or had a relationship with you, it really elevated them. Like people definitely took notice when this person got into you because they were really happier when they met you. Where they were super excited about you when they met you. They couldn't stop talking about you. So even if like they didn't discuss the ending, it was kind of like pretty clear you and this person are donezos. And now they kind of like withdrawn. Yeah, this person could have withdrawn into like working on their money as well there's just definitely something up with someone you guys dealt with in the past and people are noticing that what is up with this person they've gotten pretty defensive yeah someone went into hermit mode after their connection with you ended and people are saying it's because they're not over you guys
yeah, like this person feels like they failed their connection with you and they took it very hard. It could be done with the air sign or water sign. And it really comes down to the fact that whoever this person is, they kind of looked up to you, put you on a pedestal and like was super excited to have you in their life. So um, when things didn't go right between you guys, it really did affect them. And for some of you, they did sabotage and you're like, well, I don't really don't care now. But at the end of the day, it's like a known fact for the people around this person that they are in love with you or they've fallen in love with you. But it's crazy because what I am seeing as well is that this person never really truly told you how they were feeling. And if you guys ended, they never really truly told you that they still felt this way about you. But like, they've definitely been different like ever since you guys ended. Yeah, this person could have turned Ice King after that. Could have turned someone to a, a little bit of a heartbreaker after that because it, I think they went cold. Let's see. Four of Wands. Yeah, this person really did feel as though you guys were going to end up together or people really thought this about you guys, that you guys were going to go the long haul. This person definitely could have made a mistake because what I am seeing is that like Nine of Swords and Justice, like people feel like maybe this person deserved this. Because I'm not seeing that people are saying that anything bad about you guys, actually. To be honest, they were saying, like, this person was too good for you anyway. Like, this person was too mature for you. Or you had all this mess going on. Why did you think they would even want you? Okay, well, some of you guys, this person definitely was led astray from you. Because that's not very nice. But I definitely sense that, like, this person has a lot of anxiety over this. And they want to make things right with you. They feel like a failure. They feel like they messed up the connection. And they definitely went hermit on a lot of people in their life. And for some of you, it could be other options or other dating options. Or if they've messed up third parties. So on and so forth. Because it's like maybe this person definitely didn't realize what they had until it was gone. But definitely people are talking about someone you guys dated or, or had a thing with in the past. Has sinking into like a really deep depression or a hermit mode after you guys ended, or they just really went backwards in their um, forward movement in life. And this could be other people's opinion, you know, because I do feel like this person kind of like, always kind of been struggling. And maybe you guys saw that in this person, or they always were putting up a facade of being okay. And then after, you know, things didn't go right with you guys, it kind of was that last straw where they're just like, I need to go do some healing, you know? You definitely trigger someone to healing. Like, I don't see anything bad here. Especially if this person does something wrong to you guys and you, and you put up your boundaries. They needed that. They definitely needed that. Because I feel like at the end of the day, this person wants to make things right with you. But I definitely feel there's a lot of things that, like, um, was left unsaid. I'm hearing this one song. It's called, like, Capsize. Um, up at night, I'm awake because it haunts me that I never got to say what I wanted to. You guys could have blocked this person abruptly. They feel like they never really got to say what they wanted to in this connection. So, again, you could be hearing from them in the retrograde energy. But I really sense that people are talking about this person saying that like they've gone very withdrawn for some people they don't know why they don't really know what happened here like this person um i think that it's a spiritual connection because it, you guys really affected somebody you guys could have had past lives together and stuff but for some of you this is weird it's like someone in your life right now that that definitely has changed a lot since you've guys met they could be someone your friends own or someone that really likes you but doesn't uh, confess it because um again it's like something about this person Going inward, wanting to work on themselves, wanting to be better, cutting certain people off, just acting weird, different, strange. So you could have definitely just triggered someone into an awakening. But it's like people are saying that, you know, maybe you guys are doing this to them because it's like they kind of met you or got involved with you or you entered their energy field and then things were kind of different. Yeah, people who don't know this person very well, like, who is that girl or that guy that, that, that they were dealing with? Because it's like, they changed after that. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? It's weird because I feel like this person was definitely kind of in an energy where they were just having fun and not really taking life seriously and not really facing their shadows, not really facing themselves, living a lie, putting their mask up. And you guys definitely got this person to be vulnerable with you or that you got this person to open up or be real or feel feel for the first time or again. And I feel that this person, um, you know... They needed a reality check in a sense. Like I do feel that for some outside perspectives, like it could look like this person's not doing so hot. But in all honesty, I feel like they needed to kind of go inward and reflect and grow up about some of their past behaviors. And I definitely feel as though, yes, things could have went sour or you could just trigger this person to an awakening. Because again, 
I really feel like there are some people thinking that maybe you said or did something to this person, but I actually do feel like if you did say or do something to them, it's because they did something wrong first. Maybe they're not saying that. Or I feel for some of you guys, like they, yeah, there's a lot of unres unresolved feelings and words coming from this person and they repressed a lot of what they feel about you. And I feel like for some of you guys, they feel like it's too late to make it right, but they're still living like rent free in your energy field. Like it should pay them rent, <laughs> you know, because this person's definitely up in your energy field. If you're feeling this person again. This could be a retrograde message could be feeling this strong. Um, I don't want to say it's a heartbreak, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. People are talking about how you broke someone's heart. <laughs> someone's heart broken over you and they've noticed it. Could be their friends or you guys could have mutual friends. Or again, this person just was super excited about you, shared a lot about you, then stopped and got weird. But again, this person needed the spiritual growth. In all honesty, this person was in a very childish, immature energy. And they met you and you made them want to better themselves or be better. So the fact that you're not happy with them or things didn't go well made them super upset and hard on themselves, which they kind of needed. Like, I feel like you guys kind of came in with a very matured energy and it got this person really, really eval evaluating their life. And also this person wants to be able to be someone that you guys respect as well and they can see that you have a lot of options and they're kind of in this energy of why are they going to choose me if i keep up with this childishness so they could also have eliminated a lot of people or bad habits or situations from their life uh family yeah this person's family maybe this person doesn't have a lot maybe they're not ha not hanging around friends it could be family that noticed this person this changes you know what? I feel like this person has psychic gifts too as well. And you kind of made them aware of this too. And it was like a side of them that they were hiding. You definitely someone sent someone through an awakening, very spiritual connection. And people are just talking about the fact that like, they're not really sure what happened here. Cause I do sense that like a lot of the things that went on between you and this person are kind of like unexplainable. Even you and them can't even like articulate it. Maybe it is like a lot of things happening like subconsciously, like you feel intensely, they feel intensely, but it's like kind of like uh, no one will get it anyway. Like they kind of are not talking about it as much anymore, I feel, or they try not to. They mention you by accident or try to ask for advice here and there, but I feel like this person feels like no one's going to understand the way that they feel about this connection. Like it's it's definitely spiritual uh, for sure. Maybe you guys live at a distance or you moved away. But this person wants to communicate with you guys. This person, if you guys got into a new connection and they knew about it, it broke them. Or if you guys are seeing someone new or, uh, yeah, for some of you guys, this person thinks that if this resonates with somebody, like you guys could have got distant on this person because of their behavior or you could have ended things with this person because of their behavior. But deep down, they feel like it's because of somebody else or they're really hurt because they feel like you found somebody else or you don't love them anymore or something like that. Or that's just what their fears are. Yeah. Some people gossip and say that maybe you're trying to control this person because of how different they're acting, but something tells me you and this person are not as close anymore or you're not even in contact with this person anymore. Yeah. And if anything, this person is making decisions on their own to change. And if this person ended things with you or got weird with you because of gossip, they really regret that because they want things to work with you. But I do feel like a lot of the issues in this connection is that this person like really had a lot of fears and triggers. All right. What are people saying about you? It's my inner connection deck. You guys can check it out. My Etsy shop. This deck is really good for platonic situations as well. Too much drama. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe some people are saying that you and this person, um, you know, weren't getting along. There was a lot of drama in this situation or that your energy brought in a lot of drama. But in reality, I don't really feel like that's the case. I feel like if anything, people were kind of jealous over the way this person felt over you. Uh, honestly, for a lot of you guys, this person had a lot of drama around them and you left them because of it. Like they weren't mature enough for you. And this person maybe held a grudge. It didn't really like, they didn't do what they needed to do in this connection to keep you guys around. I'm really getting like an X energy here for a lot of you or a fling that things ended. They are guilty. Yeah, something tells me this person isn't really that innocent. So like the fact that this person's heartbroken, I don't feel like people are saying that you did anything wrong. They're saying probably saying that like things just didn't end well between the two of you, but they don't really know what happened. Uh, for some of you that yeah, this person does need an ego death and they went into the kind of a depression because uh, maybe, yeah, I'm hearing it's all my fault. 
if this person hurt you, they feel like it's all their fault. Or if you rejected them, they know it's all their fault. They want to impress you. Yeah, I feel like this person has actually gone hermit and started to work on themselves a lot because they are planning to come back. And I guess the reason why they're isolating a lot of people now is because they're secretly resentful about some of these energies that cause them to not act the best in this connection. And it may not be on purpose, but, you know, say they ditched you for their friends or they had a lot of things going on or family issues or someone in their ear or even someone that did turn you away from them. They have hermited away from these people because it they're they're kind of mad now. They have a grudge with the people that started drama in this connection. Because something told me there was a lot going on behind the scenes with you and this person that you didn't see. You know, maybe in the workplace too as well. And um, yeah, people have taken notice from the jump that this person was really into you. That they wanted to impress you. They wanted to be part of your life. So uh, some people could have not really been a fan of this. Some people could have been jealous or... They could have just been an immature, low vibrational energy and a lot of drama just goes on around them and you guys just weren't having it or they were listening to, yeah, because something told me that communication ended abruptly in this connection out of nowhere, but it also could have been because they were started, starting drama too, you know? They admire you. See, there's a lot of energy of this person, I told you, really looking up to you and just really being ashamed that you don't see them in the same light. You saw them in a high light when you met this person. But it's like you stopped seeing them in that light. And it didn't happen overnight. I feel like it was over a long period of time. You know, like at first, like the first times you hung out with this person or you were around them, you were really excited. And, and then like you kind of started to change. But it was because of their behaviors or the drama around them. They want more than what you have. For some of you, like this person started to act different because they started to catch feelings and they didn't realize that was what was happening. They started to get really triggered very easily by the things that were going on. Yeah, somebody told me this person just wasn't really ready for this, this type of commitment and they should have just been more like honest with you. But again, I'm not even saying you guys were in a commitment. Maybe this was an ex, but it wasn't that they weren't ready for the commitment like they didn't want one or even if they didn't discuss one, they wanted one. But it was more like this person started to get triggered like childhood wounds and abandonment issues, so on and so forth. So it was almost like they self-sabotage this connection. And the worst part about this, this person is depressed because they feel like it's almost like the way that you view them is never going to be the same. And that's what really hurts them because they feel like you saw the best in them. Like you almost looked up to them. Like you, you used to go to them for advice. Like you used to care about their input. Like you used to really be excited to be around them or make excuses to see them or call them or text them. We guys had a great friendship or workmanship or relationship, but they feel as though they failed at you and they, they're a failure in your eyes. And so like a lot of guys are like, why don't you come back? But they feel like you never will see them the same. And that really hurts them. And this is which triggers a lot of their depression because maybe this person did have some childhood wound issues where like a parent was never really approving of them. And maybe you guys triggered them that way because you were like, yeah, you ain't shit, you know? Like they have this under, they have this like feeling of not, not feeling good enough. Like they have a feeling of like, just nothing I do is good enough. And um, I mean, like I said, some guys, they did mess up big time. But for some of you, it really just was a lot of mess and karmic issues and interferences and this and that. But somebody tells me that this person could have done more to make sure you guys were on the same page. They need to support this connection. They're speaking highly of you. They love you. Wow. See, I'm not getting the worst of the worst. Like for some of you, yes, like this can relate to an ex that really messed up. But I feel like, you know, if you guys really don't want this person back, it's more like the angels support this person kind of going through it because it's almost like they need this. So don't feel sorry for them. This is kind of like an ego death. But for a lot of you, I'm really getting more of like a, it's complicated type of situationship or an ex where things ended abruptly and it was a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication, or just simply they weren't ready and you got triggered, they got triggered and... Yeah, something tells me that this person um, really admires you and they feel really guilty if they hurt you. Yeah, this is definitely a situation where toxicity affected this connection. Other people, family, friends, work, um, third parties, whatever. They let bullshit get in the way of this connection and they are going through it now because they're realizing it. And I think it is part of an awakening where they're truly realizing that they were led astray from this connection and you've done nothing but try to help this person, be there for this person. If they lost you as a friend, it hurts even worse. This could even be a friendship for some of you, to be honest. Like ever since your friendship ended with this person, yeah, they haven't been the same because you were the source of a light in this person's life and 
if they really let other people lead them to doing something really horrible towards you guys, I definitely feel like they are hurting over it because you guys are really amazing people, mature people, and like you didn't deserve whatever happened here. And they know that, you know, like I feel like this could be someone that just simply fell in love with you guys and ghosted and that could have been really hurtful for a lot of you. You know, I feel like this person knows that they hurt you and it was like they were being stubborn and now they wish they weren't their career focus for some of you it was more like they were just in a workaholic phase and they didn't make enough time for you they never really told you how they felt and you guys just kind of slipped away from them but i feel like this is a person that is still in a workaholic phase wanting to come back and impress you because i feel like this person does feel like you're they feel like this could be something that goes to you that felt they felt like you think they're, that they're a failure so i don't know if there was a, something that happened here they respect you i'm telling you this person views you so highly oh my gosh they think you're intelligent yeah there's someone here that really is still so, like, that's why it hurts them so bad because it's deeper than they've fallen in love. It's almost like maybe you took on a little bit of, like, a, a mentor or a healer role in this person's life or even a maternal wound that this person had. Not, this, not that I want to say this is, like, any of your responsibility, but I feel like this is something this person needed karmically. Like, you triggered this person to some sort of karmic healing or karmic lesson. Yeah, they definitely regret... I really feel like letting people get in their ear too as well because they think you could pull anyone. Somebody told me this person's jealousy and insecurity was played upon. Or yours was. They're superficial or they just wanted to go with what you know that their family wanted, what their friends wanted, or what you know, work or whatever. And uh like they could have really screwed you guys over. Could have bad influences around them. They're thinking about you guys. So you guys could be feeling this a lot. You are incompatible and gossip affects the connection. Let, what did I say? Like, people definitely got in this person's ear. That's why I feel like people are talking about this because there's like some people that definitely supported this connection and was a, and, and is an actual friend to this person, maybe a family member or like they're talking about. Like, definitely am I. You guys could check out the other ones. I haven't seen it. They're talking about your readings. Like, this could be the energy where someone is confiding in like a, a close sister or a friend that, that they trust. And this person's like, well, you know, you messed up, you know? But for some of you, I definitely feel like there were some people that were, weren't for this connection. And um, it was kind of like they thought that once they pushed you out of the picture, they would have this person back the way that they had them before. Like, for instance, a third party or, or something like that. But, but I feel like what happened was that this person awakened beyond return. So the things that you made this person aware of, they can't unsee it. And also losing you did a number on this person too as well that almost like... They preferred the version of them that was there when you were there because at least they got a version of them that was happier. So they actually now have like a depressed, withdrawn version of this person. If they push this person away, it made the connection worse between them and that person. So if there was people who got in the way of this connection, it has made the connection worse between them and this person. That makes sense. Like say like a friend got in the way. Now that connection is getting worse because this person is hurting and they're also kind of blaming some people around them too. So deep down, these people are talking about this. They're like, damn, like maybe I shouldn't have even got involved because now this person is kind of taking this out on me, you know? They're kind of taking shit out on the people that are around them. Yeah. But I feel like this person is just going through a spiritual transformation right now. But they've got some people definitely concerned. They've gone, they went into a dark spot. And again, for some of you, this person definitely just has some issues with mental health and you guys were always trying to be there, support them and you just couldn't take it anymore. Like a lot of the situation could vary. I feel like some of you, this could be someone that means well, but I feel like this is definitely a karmic thing here. We got the magician here. Uh, this person could be manifesting you on accident. Just a lot of um, still like thinking about you guys a lot. Six of swords. This person really wants to come towards you and heal this connection, but they're afraid that you're just going to be very defensive towards them. Death. Yeah. Oof. I feel like it's almost like this person was carrying a lot of burdens like this and this and this person that and that opinion that opinion this and that and then like when things were went sour with you guys it was almost like they just dropped everything you know get what I'm saying like I can't take this anymore you know and they went hermit And yeah, for some of you, like, this can relate to an ex that went into another connection, but they not, they're not getting the version of them that they even got when they were with you, if that makes sense. Like, if they went to another connection, they're getting, like, a really depressed, withdrawn, 
hurt version of this person and for some of you if this really is a third party that jumped to someone else after the connection was over or got a third party involved or was involved with third party here or there uh they really need to take a step back from relationship because but something tells me the person around them was trying to like fix or help or heal but i really feel like this person is very much not in a good place i'm not gonna lie guys you could have really hurt their feelings again they could have deserved it karma yeah you're definitely this person's karma I really feel like you're going to make this person better or more mature, depending on what you're choosing to do in this connection. For a lot of you guys, it's going to relate to different people. Because I'm sensing, like, for me, it's like a fling going on right now. For some of you guys, it's an ex. And it really just depends on the circumstances. They need help with something. Yeah, I feel like you guys really were trying to help this person. They give good advice. You make them laugh. Shh. They are petty. They think you're magical. Yeah, I feel like this person regrets being petty because it could have led to the demise of this relationship. It's pretty obvious to this person that you're their soulmate. They think that you're, you're their soulmate, maybe even the one for them. So what's the issue here? Why don't you trust me? Yeah, see, I told you guys. Again, this could be something that you guys just simply tell that you don't trust them and that really hurts them, but you could have your reasons or you could have trust issues. You're my king slash queen. I can't handle you. I can't control myself around you. Right. For some of you guys, it could be a situation where this person did something that made you not have trust in them, especially like if they started off the relationship with you and they weren't completely honest about things. Um, they regret doing that because they feel like it's going to be really hard for them to get into a good place or to destroy your trust. It's going to be really hard for them to get into a good place with you. And that's why they're so defeated. But I feel like for a lot of you, especially if you still have feelings for this person or what they did what is redeemable in your eyes. Or even if you guys want to recover a friendship with this person, I think things need to be talked about. Because what I'm really truly feeling is this person just actually being very pessimistic about this connection. When they should actually just take action to heal the connection. And I feel like when they gather the strength, that's what they're going to do. Because gotten to the point with this person where they're like, oh, they're never going to have me back. They don't even want me. But in, in reality, they're like, well, I miss their friendship. I actually just want to make things right. I feel guilty about what happened. Like, I'm kind of seeing that. And for some of you, this person could just be a guilty person. Like, they couldn't, uh, they could have not even done that, that much wrong towards you. But, again, this person could have a side of them where they feel extra guilty or extra shame. They could, again, could have been just raised with, like, a lot of pressure. Like, to perform. But I definitely get a moment with this person where they're just like, I can't take it anymore. I'm just going to focus on myself, my money, and that's it. This person has definitely gone cold on a lot of people in their life. And yeah, people are saying that um, it's because you're no longer interested in them. And that hurts them. Is this true, guys? Let me know what's going on here. I do feel like for a lot of you, you just want this person to be better. But you've kind of accepted that this could be over if they don't change, if they don't grow. And uh, this is kind of like a transformation this person needs. But like, I feel like deep down, this person always wanted more. Or they definitely wanted this situation to work. But they ended up not acting like it. Yeah, because deep down, we got that true love energy. But again, freedom here. So it's like... This person could have just been a self-sabotage or a commitment phobe so on and so forth, you know? And they're beginning to see clearly now that you weren't trying to cage them. You were trying to set them free from toxic people and toxic habits. But hey, maybe your standards make this person feel caged because they felt like you were seeing the things that needed work in them, which was very triggering. But again, I feel like this person is going through a period of time where they're feeling very hurt, very rejected by you, very much ashamed, very much guilty. Even in some situations, they could have felt like you chose someone else over them, another party, or even um, some, or they regret choosing another party if they did. Or they regret listening to someone else's opinion. Or some of you guys, you you know, they think maybe you chose your friend or you listened to your friends over them or something like that too. Like maybe they feel as though, you know, you didn't hear them out or you didn't give them a chance to talk. Like that's why I feel like this person could feel like they didn't, they, they're guilty because 
they hurt you, but they also could feel like they, they have something they want to say. This person still feels very connected to you. This person's fully aware that you have a lot of options, though, and that could have definitely resulted in a lot of their behaviors. This person misses hanging out with you. For some of you guys, seeing you with the new love is this person's karma. You know, that's what I'm seeing for some of you. Yeah. And for some of you, this person wants to come back as a new love, but it's too late. But you guys got a lot of options here. So it's more about what you want to do. This is more the message that's coming through again. These are meant to kind of be like, what's going on in the current energy? So what are you going to do about this? But I do feel like you could be hearing from an ex that's like really feeling like, you know, they miss the, even your friendship, your gifts, your laughter, your smile, and opportunity to grow, to mature, to be better, to be wiser, to be richer. They will reach out soon. So someone's definitely going to be reaching out to you guys. They want to be friends forever. They at least want to repair a friendship with you. And yeah, deep down, they are super jealous even that people get to be around you and they don't right now. And for a lot of you, yeah, if they let other obstacles get in the way, they, they, they shouldn't have been. Yeah, and I think they regret letting anyone get in the way of this connection if they did. Person gonna let people push them around. The sun here. Could be dealing with a Leo or an air sign. You guys could have air signs. Person's really upset because they feel like you're very unhappy with them, and they could tell. Some of you guys like it's just in your energy that you're different around this person. Maybe there wasn't a big falling out, but they feel like you've lost interest or you met somebody else. And for some of you, this is true. Like you could have just lost interest in this person, and they're going through it and they're feeling it, you know? Because at first, like they, you know, they felt like you were like they were like sunshine to you guys but they feel like you don't feel that way about them anymore some of you guys it could just because you're hurt you still love them some of you guys you've fallen out of love with this person and they noticed that because of their own actions though for sure a lot of you guys went hermit on this person too but they're stalking you but i feel like this person feels like it's worth like reaching out basically so that's kind of what i'm seeing for you guys i do hope you guys like that message because deep down this person really feels like they feel that they want a permanent place in your life and they're going to try to mature and be healthier to earn that spot back, whether it's friend, whether it's relationship, whether it's friendship. And now this time around, they're not going to be listening to people that are not in support of what they want to do. So in a way, you're helping this person level up better, mature better. And some of you guys are going to deny this person and tell them straight up because this is not acceptable to me. I'm not going to do this with you. And boom, for some of you guys, you know, there is a way that this can work out depending on your situation. So I do hope you guys like this message. But again, this person is definitely thinking about you a lot, feeling very hurt, feeling very rejected. Um, they don't want to let go of this. They intuitively feel like you're letting go of them. And, um, or maybe even like, choosing someone else over them this may not be true it could be in their mind because they could be a little codependent and they think you know when you slip away it means you're going to somebody else but it may not be true guys you guys just be in a hermit mode but someone definitely feels as though they're losing you maybe to somebody else or to their own toxicity so let me know what you guys think about that bye